I'm going to tie a, another fly for perch, uh, and this is a fire tiger bunny for perch. So, what I like is a sort of a say size two or a size four, fairly short shank hook. Now this happens to be a a Kamazan B980. It's a specimen aid hook. It's quite short, simple. You could also use owners or something like that, cocks and rolls or. Any similar sort of shape of hook. So, we're using gel spun here as our thread, and we're not going to even use the whole length of the of the hook. Uh, so we're going to tie the majority of the fly up here. So we'll put on a bit of our gel spun, and now a little bit of super glue just to stop all that spinning around the hook. So. What we need now is a bit of orange craft fur. If you don't want to use craft fur, you can use natural fibers as well. So I suppose you could use rabbit or uh, fox or something like that. Take a bunch of that. And then I'm just going to pull the longest fibers out and then realign the tips because we don't need the full length of this this fibre, so we're going to end up with a little bunch that's going to be maybe two times the length of the hook. So I'm going to set that on pointing forwards and tie it on underneath the hook. And turn that off. Now, what I want to show you is that I'm not tying this tight to the back of the eye because this head is going to be folded back and I want a little bit of shank still there so that I can create uh, either an epoxy or a glue type head. So top bunch we're going to use a bit of black craft fur. So again, cut out a bunch, hold it by the tips and pull this shorter stuff out and then realign. That just gives us a slightly denser bunch, you know, and then we'll tie that in until it's level with the same tie-in point of the uh, of the orange bunch underneath it. Again, pointing forwards, tie in backwards, snip that off. And a bit of super glue into the butts of that, and wrap it down. So the zonker part of it, here I have a, a strip of, this is a chartreuse rabbit and this happens to be about 70 to 80 millimeters long. I'll tie that in on top of this bunch and then again a little bit of super glue just to stop all that slipping and sliding about. Now, I'm going to take a little bunch of, this happens to be silver, like a flashaboo type material. I'm going to tie it in on my side and then I'm going to fold that over and then tie the rest of it in on the far side and cut the two off to the same length. And that just gives us that little bit of flash underneath the head material. All right. Keep that in position. Bit of super glue onto our tie-in thread, and just wrap over the tie-in point of that. Now, splay out your craft fur. I'm going to pull the black portion backwards then take my tie and thread up in that gap between black and orange and get the tie and thread in front of the head and finish that off. So, oh, looks like a bit of a mess at the minute, but I'm just going to 
home it. Out. And then we'll pull all this backwards and downwards. And if we take our super glue brush and just brush the head lightly, a little bit of it will seep into the, the fibres and that will hold us the shape of our head. And as you see here we have a little fire tiger coloured bunny about the length of your finger. We're going to put a head on that. We just need to let the super glue dry before we do that, otherwise it'll interfere. So we shall set that aside. Take one here. Have we done before? And I'm going to use um, this Evo Stick Serious Glue. And what I'll do here is use the rotary folks to the of the vise. I'm going to make a blob that can, like a donut, the whole way around at the front, with a little bit more of a squeeze on each side. But I just want the whole thing to meet up. And then if we take our eyes. Now, eyes up to yourself, whatever uh, color you want here. These are probably three millimeter, two and a half to three millimeter eyes. I'd say would suit size ways on this. And I'm just going to stick the back end of the eye into the blob and then push it back into it, and that'll catch a rim around the eye. Of glue and that'll stop the thing from falling out and hopefully from delaminating. And then the same on this side to so just stick the back edge of the eye into the glue and then push the eye down and backwards to whatever position you want it to be at. I just check both eyes to make sure they're roughly at the same. And once I have the eyes in place spit on the end of my finger and then I can just push the glue down till I get the head shape that I want and then that will dry and in 24 hours well it's actually fishable in about 5 or 10 minutes but you leave it 24 hours for it to fully dry and there we have a little Fire Tiger type perch bunny.